about you, okay? 2019 move! There's no usually a police officer right there, so I slowed down. Oh, you speeding? Oh, let the people know. Not it's on record. Speeding. It's on record. This is a highway that's hmm. a speed track. Interesting. So even if you go five Sounds over. Sounds to me like you were just speeding. To go five over. I just think it's interesting that you would be speeding on my vlog. Yeah. Show the people <laughs> how you really live, babe. Anywho, back to what I was saying. Something, um... I was like that's been on my mind this week especially like with my with my channel and vlogging and stuff and how I was just saying how I think vlogging is really good for my channel because it like shows the application and practicality of you know living God's word and stuff and like how important your lifestyle is um, because you know the way you live is a witness and also it's just important because you know god calls us to live a certain way um just in general yesterday we went to church and um our pastor not on the pastor travis if you're watching um he was talking about spiritual warfare how in spiritual warfare like praying for stuff and then like the very things that we're praying for, um, like our lifestyle will be like completely opposite of the of the things that we're praying for. And it really, really like stuck with me. Like my whole channel is about like, you know, your lifestyle and how your lifestyle is worship unto God and how it's a witness to people and how um, just how important it is, like how you live. Like it's important to live a life that's pleasing to God and that's not saying that you'll be perfect that's not saying that you won't get things um wrong sometimes but just like overall being um mindful of your lifestyle and the way you live and your habits and all that stuff a lot of times we'll make excuses for um like things that we do like we'll make excuses for our sin or we'll make excuses for our bad habits but what's missing is the practical application of, you know, your prayer. It's your the cause for um, the things that you're giving back. Like, basically, like, faith without works is dead. So what are you doing that's practical besides praying? Because, you know, God will strengthen you, but how is he going to strengthen you if you're... If, He's strengthening you while you're using your free will to do the same thing that you're asking God to strengthen you for. And so it's like you're literally fighting against God at this point. You're praying for one thing, but you're not even trying to use practical things in your life to accomplish that goal. And so in a sense, it's contradictory. Like your prayers are contradictory to your actions. I just thought that was so real. Practical things that we can do in life. Um to try and achieve even spiritual goals to be honest but to try and achieve things that we want to do so like if i'm constantly praying like um lord help me make more money but i'm not doing anything practically in my life god could be giving me ideas and he can be giving me directions and instructions okay you said you want to make more money more money may not appear from the sky it may 
but it, it more than likely it probably won't it probably will come to you in forms of okay well let me open this opportunity for a second job for you let me open this opportunity for your own business let me op open this opportunity for a side hustle for you let me uh open this opportunity for you to work harder to get a raise on your job we place so much expectation on god which is important to do there's nothing wrong with placing expectation on god because god will see exceed your expectations but again faith without works is dead and that's what that works is that works isn't oh you know faith and good works even though you know your work should be good but it's saying literally like you having faith for something and asking god for something without practically doing the steps that he's leading you to do in your life to do it because we still live in a natural world you still have to do something you still got instructed to do something like dang it convicted me because i was like dang i need to get my life together <laughs> i was like i need to i need to stop just talking and like be about it sacrifice is important for this lifestyle okay all right like this whole christian walk is about sacrifice and it's important and it's necessary and the reward is so much greater i just thought that was really cool and like very appropriate for my channel right yep yeah <laughs> <laughs> babe where are we going Scenic route means it's not the fastest route. No, it means it means you're driving no, just to drive it means, to enjoy the drive. Well, either way, it's the drive where there is lots of scenery, and that's, that's not, what we're doing. Look it up. That's not what it means. <laughs> well, it's what it means today. Focus on the road. See, see, that's your issue. <laughs> oh my gosh! Don't crash it. I'm gonna fight you. You tripping? You tripping? Tripping? That's what the young kids said. I hope they let us record at the concert. If they do, y'all see a little bit. But if not, just know that I'm probably on the floor crying. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully, we do. Keep on driving. I'm mean, eating Panda Express at Chipotle. Because <laughs> I'm a rebel. Well, you look cold. Like, I figured my head is warm enough. Wow. Look at you. Look at us being vegan. We're not really vegan, but we're just vegan for the moment. <laughs>
it, everybody. It was amazing. It was awesome. It was awesome sauce. I think the acoustic center is pretty good. Bro, elevation. That's all I got to say. Y'all take it to the next level. Oh my goodness. I just, I can't. They better in person than they are on the track. I just, if I didn't have to vlog, I could have just been there. And my arms wouldn't have been as tired, but <laughs> actually they would have because my arms were anyway. But my voice is gone. Had an awesome time. The Lord was in there. I want to actually go to another one, like next week. You gonna go to Chicago? <laughs> like, <laughs> when is it coming here in Charlotte? I want to go to the one in Charlotte. Right. How's our day? We are, what, heading back to our home, our lovely home. Not quite. Almost. <laughs> After we dropped my sister off. Hey, tell the people you love them. <laughs> tell the people you love them. Tell the people you love them. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's dope to do life with y'all. So that's the end of this vlog. And as always, remember, we're just like you. We just think different.